This tutorial is designed to guide you through submission to Turnitin via Blackboard. Before exploring how to do that, I will firstly outline the file submission requirements of Turnitin. Let's look first of all at the file submission requirements of Turnitin. Turnitin will only accept single file submission or copy and pasted text. This means that if your reference list or bibliography or perhaps appendices in a separate file will need to be merged into a single file with your assignment. The maximum file size is 20 megabytes and if this is only text it'll be fine. If you've included any images you may need to either reduce them or take them out completely to meet the maximum file size requirements. Your assignment must be no more than 400 pages and if you're submitting a dissertation you must still follow the style guide requirements that you've been given outlining text size and formatting. Finally, Turnitin will accept Microsoft Word, WordPerfect, PostScript, PDF, HTML, RTF, OpenOffice and plain text file types only. So if you're using pages on your Mac or Works for example, you'll have to save your file as a PDF or as a document before submission. Go to the Blackboard login page and type in your username, followed by your password. Then press the Enter key. Click on the link to your specific course. Your course page may look slightly different from this, but there should be an Assessment or Assignment tab in the left-hand menu. This icon indicates that your assignment is being submitted through Turnitin, a plagiarism prevention and online grading software. It is used by the university to provide you with feedback on the originality of your work to help improve your writing and referencing skills. When your assignment is complete, click on the View Complete link. Clicking on the Information icon, will show details about your assignment, including whether late paper submission or resubmissions are allowed. The start date indicates the earliest date and time that you can submit your assignment. The due date is the final submission date and time for your assignment. Although it's possible to submit up to three days after this time, your mark will be capped at a maximum of 40 or 50% depending on your level of study. The post date is the date where your tutor's feedback will be available for you to view. When you've finished your assignment and saved it in a suitable format, press the Submit button. Fill the form with the required details. If your tutor has given you a specific title, you should use this. Scroll down to the bottom of the page using the scroll bar. Now use the Browse button to search for your file. In the new window, navigate to the file and folder you require. In my case, it's in the Documents folder. Scroll down and select the required file. Then click on the Open button. The browser window closes and you can now select the Upload button. Uploading progress can be seen in this status bar. Your uploaded document will appear in the Preview pane and you should verify that this is indeed the document you wish to upload. If you are happy with the content, click on the Submit box. Your submission will be sent to Turnitin and may take a few minutes. A digital receipt appears which contains only the first page of your submission. In addition, an email will be sent to your student address, which you should keep as evidence. We can now look at the report by clicking on the Go to Portfolio link. The Turnitin class homepage appears. You will see that the Submit button has been replaced by a greyed out Resubmit button. This will not be available for you to use until 24 hours have elapsed since your initial file upload. In this rather extreme example, you can see my essay has a 78% similarity with other previously published resources. Further information on how to interpret the Turnitin report can be found on the skills area of the website 
or on the Skills at Cumbria tab within Blackboard. To see a detailed report, click on the View button. Your document will open in the Viewer window. Click on the Originality button. Areas of your text that are similar to other previously published resources are numbered and highlighted. These correspond to items in the source list to the right of the screen. By clicking on these links, the original source can be viewed. For further assistance, look at our Help is at Hand guide on the website or email us at the address shown. Thanks for listening.